Well, hello there. I'll give y'all a few minutes to come in and join with us in our discussion. I am here in uh, Medellin, Colombia. I am with uh, Miguel Sanabria. Uh, I don't see anybody joining us yet, so I kind of wait around to tell you. We'll give some more details later. But, uh, okay, look at there. Alexander Spears here. We're in uh, Medellin, Colombia. And this is Miguel Sanabria. Do what? He's a good friend from Puerto Rico. A good friend from Puerto Rico. And so I just thought I'd let you see. We're on our way to the airport. Today is a feriado. Uh, what do you call a feriado? It's a holiday. Festival. Because this, well, we're talking English. Oh, sorry. Uh, this <laughs> is uh, Independence Day for Colombia. Uh, and Alexander Spear says, hey, uh, Miguel. And Trent Cornwell says hello. And I just want you to know that we are so blessed. God uh, saved. Uh, thank you, Alexander Spear. I appreciate you greeting me, too. Uh, we are so blessed that Miguel was the first person to accept Christ as a part of the Minister of Vision Baptist Church. I wasn't even uh, there, uh, but it's not necessary for me to be there. God does the saving. And, and Miguel graduated from our Iowa College and worked on our church staff. And uh, Miguel has been uh, you know, in the ministry. He was our church, uh, our Spanish church pastor. He's led people to Christ, been used to God, and now he and his beautiful wife, Mary Angela, are living here in uh, Colombia. And uh, God is already at work. They've got their house set up. We've been looking at a section of town uh, to get started in. There's about 7 million people here in uh, Colombia, in, uh, in just the Medellin, the Metro Medellin area. For those of you that are afraid and you think it's dangerous here we have been all over the city we've been to the places that are called uh, hot zones or red zones and where things are dangerous and I'll just tell you uh, later so uh, but we have been to those areas and it has not been dangerous. I'm sure there could be things happening there like they do anywhere else in the world, but uh, been very safe, very good. We've enjoyed it very much. Uh, we need your prayers for Miguel as he looks for a place to rent to start the church. Uh, things are not readily available in the area because it's everything is packed. Uh, most houses, uh, they sell the second floor as a second house and third floor as a different house and there's lots of apartments and so finding a place may end up being a little difficult so I want to ask you to pray for Miguel uh, obviously there's Miguel you know Miguel and all of you that have been giving. I uh, really appreciate it all. Uh, all that is going into uh, getting souls saved here and getting church plant, planted, planted here and getting men trained here. And so thank you all very much. All right, well, uh, we've been losing signal and I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I hope that it'll all be recorded and you can go back and watch it. Sorry, using the phone, trying to make sure I don't cover up my microphone there uh thank all of you for taking the time to watch this is a beautiful countryside beautiful country wonderful people wonderful sweet people not not met one unkind person now that doesn't mean they're saved they don't know about jesus they don't know the lord the country is very modern uh evelyn amparo valiente no entiendo nada pero escucharlo es lindo hey 
Les amamos a todos ustedes y estamos de verdad muy contentos acá en Colombia con Miguel Sanabria. Miguel es miembro de la iglesia Visión y él ha tenido mucho ministerio con nosotros y ya está acá para arrancar iglesias. Eh, posiblemente estará con nosotros en octubre para el Congreso de Pastores, de Escuela de Pastores eh, y para que le conozcan los que no le conocen todavía. Pero gracias por estar viendo. Hey, I love all of you. Thank you very much. We will be back with you when we get a little bit better signal and uh, make another recording.